What's going on everybody? It is Wheels Up Garrett and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to travel Albania. You might be asking me what that whole thing is about. Uh, how to Travel is a series that I made teaching you guys how to travel to different countries that I've been to, giving you tips that I experienced while I was in the country, stories, etc. And uh, you can make what you want out of my opinion and take it for your own. Um, by no means does my word mean really anything about the country itself. I'm just speaking words. Um, about experiences that I've had and my personal opinions so make of it what you will and uh, hey maybe if you didn't have an interest in going to any of the countries that I've reviewed maybe now you do. Um, other two are how to travel Italy and how to travel China in my previous videos check them out if you like. Now how this works um, I break down each country into different categories here I have on my phone uh, that I did um, wrote down and then did a little bit additional research just for the video um, so Albania, where slash how to enter, where to stay, enter country transport, cities, sites, prices, and then other local tips that I have. Let's get into it. Albania, a beautiful, beautiful country located in the Balkans in the southeastern part of Europe, close to Greece and close to a variety of different countries, um, such as North Macedonia, Kosovo, and Montenegro. Um, it is a hidden gem in Europe. It is extremely under traveled and I highly highly recommend you visit if you have the time So let's get started with where slash how to enter you can enter via airplane to Tirana Which is the capital of the country and then Kukes, which is another city in the country Those are the only two airports that you're gonna have mainly in the country where you can get to from a commercial flight um, additionally uh, you can get to Saranda via ferry from the Greek island of Corfu, which would save you time because you need to take a bus from Tirana to Saranda. Um, so if you fly to Corfu, take a 30 minute ferry, you're in Saranda, and I believe there are ferries from Eastern Italy to get to the city of Valore and the city of Dures. Next, where to stay. Airbnb, um, I always really like to go by Airbnb, um, great deals in Albania, uh, you saw the two Airbnbs I said, if you didn't go watch the Albania series, um, I know for a fact uh, the one in Toronto was a little bit pricey, but the one in Serrano was extremely cheap, I like to budget travel when I can, um, or best I can I should say. And uh, I paid 210 total US dollars for six nights in Saranda. And again, go check that out if you haven't. That Airbnb was gorgeous and speaks for itself. So Airbnb is a great option in Albania. Second is hostels. Um, I love staying at hostels mainly when I'm by myself just because when I'm with Lindsay, we can get an Airbnb, we can cook and stuff. And uh, when I'm by myself, I don't really care about cooking and stuff. So um, I usually just stay at hostels. Um, Couch surfing, another great option and a great way to meet locals. Um, it's been a little bit dead since the uh, COVID hit, um, but with COVID slowly, um, like restrictions starting to slowly ease, I think couch surfing will make a huge return. If you don't know what I'm talking about, download couch surfing, Google it, whatever you want to do. A uh, great way to meet locals and a great way to stay with locals for free. And lastly, obviously hotels. It's gonna be your priciest option. I don't recommend hotels. You don't really get an authentic experience and I just, I don't really advocate for hotels because of how expensive they are and it's just a very, every hotel room, wherever you go in the world is the same. So why not, like with Airbnb, you get to stay in a local's house. So I just think it's cooler. And then with couch surfing, you get to hang out with a local and then hostels, it's like, yeah, it's kind of like a hotel, but you get to meet other travelers. It's just a cool vibe. Next, inter-country transport. So, there are mainly two ways that you're going to get around Albania. Buses and cars. There is not a huge railway system in Albania, if any. I don't even believe they have a, a huge like train system at all. Um, there's only two international airports, so if you want to get to the south, your best bet is going to be a bus. You can see again, I took it very reasonably priced. It's 13 euros a person. Uh, the buses go all around the country, and then obviously, if you want to rent a car, you can drive yourself. The roads are pretty safe. Um, it does get a little bit hairy whenever you are driving into Serrano. There's some steeper cliffs, but still, if you take it slow, it's it's really nothing insane. So renting a car is also an option. Cities. So, 
there are four, about four Albanians, don't get mad at me for saying this, because I feel like I'm going to not mention someone's city and they're going to get mad at me, but there's about four major cities that I have written down uh, and that I've driven through, etc. Tirana, which is the capital, which I highly recommend you go to. Uh, I was in Tirana for two nights. Um, it is beautiful. The city, it's the capital of the country. There's a ton of life, ton of nightlife, ton of coffee shops, ton of shops. It is wonderful. Highly, highly recommend Tirana and is the most populated city. Next is Valore, which is on the eastern part of the coast, or eastern, the western part of the coast right on the Ionian Sea, or excuse me, Adriatic Sea. Um, beautiful um, beachy city, um, very similar to Saranda. I, I drove through Valore, but I don't know like a ton about it. Um, Saranda, which I can speak for, it is a small beach uh, city located right on the south part of the um, Albanian and Greek border. It is beautiful, some of the most breathtaking beaches that you will experience. The city itself is great. They have this beautiful water uh, water walk um, right on the ocean, uh, beaches in the city, a uh, ton of food options in the city. The people are super nice, super welcoming. Um, it's great. I highly recommend Saranda. And there's a, a lot to do down in the south. Last is Duress, which is directly west of uh, Tirana, which I drove through, which seems just like a normal city. Um, it is also on the ocean as well, though. Uh, I can't really speak on what there is to do, but that's another um, bigger city. And then obviously you have the mountains in the middle of the country. Um, it's an extremely mountainous country as well as it is coastal. And uh, there's some little towns and stuff I'm sure you could uh, get lost in and have a good time in, in the middle of the country. And if anyone's Albanian, comment below uh, if any, any little cities or anything that I missed uh, to fill people in. Lastly, sites. So, this isn't last actually, this is just part of the breakdown that I have. Um, sites, Tirana, which I already told you about is wonderful. Uh, there's the Skanderbeg Square in the middle, which is this huge square in the middle of the city. You can see around, um, there's a ton of life going on there, different cafes and stuff, it's really cool. Um, down in the south you have Blue Eye, uh, I made a video on that world, uh, not worlds, Europe's most beautiful spring. Um, amazing, amazing underwater cave spring that you can swim in. It's the clearest water I've ever seen and one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. It is about uh, 37 minutes east of Saranda. You can take a taxi, bus, or if you have an Airbnb host or a friend, hit them up and they'll drive you. Maybe, I can't speak for your friend, but maybe. Um, Lekaresi Castle, I know I'm going to get destroyed in the comments, I butcher that, but it is a castle overlooking Saranda, uh, beautiful castle, beautiful views, there's a little coffee shop at the top, you can look out over the sea and the city, um, highly recommend that. Casamil Beach, I did another video on, uh, watch some of the series for sure uh, if you're inter really interested in going to Albania. Casamil Beach is the most beautiful beach in Albania, crystal clear water, little islands, beach shops. Um, ton of people, um, just it's really great, Casamil Beach, and then obviously the mountains, I didn't get a chance to discover the mountains, but there are beautiful, beautiful peaks throughout the middle of the country, I highly recommend if you have enough time to go into the mountains and uh, check it out. Lastly, prices and tips. Prices, everything is very, very cheap um, compared to the western countries, um, food is very cheap. Pretty much everything's cheap, minus like designer clothing and stuff. Um, I'm gonna use my currency converter right now to give you guys an exact. Th no, this isn't gonna be accurate all the time. Um, things change, but the current exchange rate is one Albanian lek equals one cent um, for the U.S. Um, but things are very reasonably priced and, and fairly cheap. Um, it's one of the cheaper countries in Europe, and I highly recommend uh, you visit. It. Lastly, tips. Um, there's no Uber, there's no trains, and there's no really inner country airplanes. Uh, that's gonna play a factor in your trip. Uh, plan accordingly, plan buses, and plan cars. Um, yeah, the Wi-Fi is great. Um, I had a great experience with the Wi-Fi and my Airbnbs and stuff, and great, great hospitable people. Um, I can't recommend Albania enough. The people are so welcoming, so happy. Um, 
it's just beautiful. Um, it opened up uh, in the late 90s. Um, it used to be a communist state, for those of you that don't know. And um, they opened up, uh, I believe in like 2000. And they're really pushing tourism. It is a hidden gem in Europe for sure. And I can guarantee in the coming years it's gonna be a very popular tourist destination. So get there if you can. Uh, as soon as you can because it will pop up and uh, I had an amazing time in Albania Huge shout out to my Albanian viewers. I love you guys. Um, I had a beautiful time in your country Awesome place great country. I will be back and uh, Yeah, and if you have time check out the um, Albania series that I have I just shot I was just over there and yeah Subscribe if you're not subscribed, please. It helps me out a ton. Leave a like if you enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Wherever you are in the world, saying good night from, or good afternoon, from uh, Phoenix, Arizona, USA. I'll see you guys later. Bye.